Hello guys, welcome to Merz-Benz King. In front of us we have the all new Mercedes EQS SUV. I will show you the complete exterior, interior, all the new gadgets and of course the practicality. Because this is an immense luxurious SUV. It is the same size in wheelbase as the EQS sedan, but overall the length is a little bit shorter, 5 meters and 12 centimeters. And with the rear axle steering optional in 10 degrees, it is very easy to maneuver around the city. But let's first focus here in the front, as we see a very aggressive power bonnet, very muscular lines, and in the front it has the Mercedes star patterns in the grille. Furthermore, the digital lights with three dots, which indicates that this is part of the S-Class luxurious family. The Mercedes Star is closed because it has special sensors that monitor the road in front of you. It has the night package, so all blacked out front with the bumpers in the front, part of the AMG line package. Furthermore, you can't open the bonnet, of course, because it is fully electric. The only part that you can open is here on the side for wiper fluid and tell me guys what do you think about this position on the side would you rather have it in the front in the rear just let me know here it says EQS just like the EQS sedan with this very edgy form and in this way you have very good visibility looking through this gap over here it has flowing lines all the way to the back and the swooping line actually goes a little bit up on the C pillar. Amazing. The height is around 20 centimeters higher than the EQS sedan. It is 1 meters and 72 centimeters. So let's unlock the EQS SUV and there you can see the folding handle. And as I open the door, there you can see a beautiful New interior with the hyper screen, just like the EQS sedan, moving from the one end all the way to the other end with one glass and three different displays. Furthermore, beautiful quality inside. Napa leather seats. I will show you the interior later on. But first, check out the rims. These are special rims for the Mercedes EQS SUV. Special because it has chrome parts on the outsides and this indicates the off-road characteristics. I really love the multi-spoke design with an AMG lettering which really shows the sportive sides and from that side the 22 inch rims really match the blacked out exterior. Especially in the darkened color and the chrome accents match with the EQS here on the side and as you can see we are currently at Auto Trachsler in Retzikon, there they have this all new EQS SUV. Personally, I really love the blacked out rear windows. So I will open it. Amazing interior. And there you can already see the infotainment system displays. And yes, there is a seventh seat possibility. But before I show you more of the interior with all its gadgets, just check out this rear, how it, the lines flow more upwards. And now, for the first time that I see, we have the Mercedes emblem actually lowered, not on the top, with the EQS 580 emblem. And this means it is a 4MATIC with two electric motors, producing over 400 kilowatt. From this angle, I can really appreciate the design of the EQS SUV. It looks very coupe-ish. Just check out the diffuser with the blacked out parts underneath in pair. So guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram, the link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you about all new Mercedes-Benz vehicles and the most exclusive ones. I already mentioned the upward sloping lines with this broad shoulder, you also see it on the other side. But check out this till light with one flowing design and with the inner patterns, just like an LED. Furthermore, amazing emblems, as I mentioned earlier, but let's just open the trunk. 
and we'll check out the interior space because it has around 800 liters of trunk capacity, very broad shoulders. And when you fold down the second row, it will have more than 1,400 liters of trunk capacity. So let me just close the trunk and we'll check out the interior, the rear seats first. Amazing with the folding door handle. Let's go. This EQS SUV doesn't have the soft closing doors. You can have it as an option. So sitting inside, the system automatically activates. So let me skip through the system. It has great practicality. You see, I have enough of space here for my legs, around 25 centimeters. You do notice a little gap here with your legs and the seats, but the head space is also very decent. I'm not touching the roof. You have these very soft pillows, also in the front seats, which is new and amazing interior. You can also go for the extra optional blindings. So let me just grab this. An extra infotainment system display that you can have in the center. So with the infotainment system in front of you, you can change the wall settings in the interior. You can, for example, go to comfort and change the seat position. Also for the right passenger over there. So you can, for example, change the wall seat, move it forward or backwards. So if you press this, there's extra storage space, which can also be used as a wireless charging pad for your phone. The infotainment system has to be installed, the tablet over here. Down there you can see the thermometric air vent control system. So if you change the temperature, the colors will also move alongside the ambient lighting line. And I really love this beautiful interior from this perspective with the hyper screen. So let's move to the front seats and I will show you a lot more. Amazing wood on the side. So let's have a look here at the infotainment system screen in front of us. And there, if you go to the left, you have this Mercedes EQ, which shows you everything about the charging and also the current consumption. But let's go to the left. There it says standard program. Charging program home or work, you can fully configure it the way you want. So you can also go for EQ charge, which is to 80%, so you don't have to wait that long until 100. There's also easy exit because the sides are very far to the back because of the very wide shoulders. So let's go to the front seats. I really would get this luxury SUV with these soft closing doors, of course. So let's enter. Beautiful Burmester here on the top, extra. Entering the EQS SUV, you get this beautiful invitation display. Let me just press the button for all the electronics to work. And there we have a huge MBUX hyper screen. These are three different displays, also for the passenger, but in one gloss. It has this swooping line just like a coke one. So let's press the home button and we will check out the gauges in front of us. And there you can already see in the camera the sensors that monitor your eyes because it needs it for the 3D, which you don't have in the EQS, only in the S class. But it still monitors your eyes to see if you are paying attention. And in the front of us we have this gauges in classic, but you can also change it to five or six different displays. So if I swipe down, the map zooms out and you have a huge screen. This is around 12.3 inches. Another possibility is the off-road. 
where you can see the angle that you are steering, how the car is positioned and the direction that you are driving in. And yes, this car has the optional 10 degrees rear axle steering and that means it is very easy to maneuver around in the city. Service, assistance, classic, sport, and actually if you change this, the center part will also change. For example, in the left, to understate it, it shows you as less as information as possible. Currently it is charged 85% and we can drive around 418 kilometers. Over here the buttons to change the seat and this doesn't give you haptic feedback. It stays in position and you just feel the commands being processed. Pretty high quality interior and I say this because Mercedes offers more variety, so combinations of different materials. It is pretty monotone if you look from the camera, but I really noticed different materials for similar colors. As I mentioned, the Neotex, also the darkened wood, leather in the steering wheel, which is actually Napa leather, Artico leather at the center console. But let's have a look at the practicality first, because you can notice a huge gap here below the center console, and that is where you can put your stuff. This doesn't have the center tunnel because it's not a combustion engine, so a lot more space. Navigation with a full screen, just like in the front. So you can see we are currently in Zurich. We're close to Zurich, at Wetzikon. And let me know guys, where are you from? I'm currently in the center of Europe. Please let me know in the comment section below. With the touch buttons you can control the screen on the right, but you can also use it as a touch screen, which is way more user friendly. So you can have a look at different options, suspension, and a lot more, like tire pressure. So let's go to comfort, and you can activate the massage seat. But I want to show you the ambient lighting, because there's also this multicolor view. If you go to if you go to comfort, the light and multicolor, and that you can change in a lot of different combinations. So you have different lights for the seats. Even here, there's ambient lighting on the cover, and around the settings over here. And with this, you can fully close the panoramic roof which is in two parts, or open it all the way. In front of us we have a huge gap. This is for the head-top display. You can see it over there, but if you press the home button you can change the settings. If you swipe up, you can go all the way to the right, to settings, and change the position. For example, move it all the way up. And you can have different views, sport view, and this off-road view. So guys, thanks for watching Merzbenz King. I hope you liked the video with the all-new EQS SUV. It's a beautiful, luxurious, fully electric Mercedes. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.